Hey all, so uh, question and answer here, more for uh, people that aren't necessarily as familiar with KDE, or you are familiar with KDE, but you haven't really gotten much into tinkering with it. So it's pretty well known in the industry that KDE has so many options. If you can configure it, or if you can think of configuring it, KDE can do it. Uh, and thankfully, in more in recent times, a lot of the strange and obscure menus and settings have been hidden away. But I was reading online where a couple of people have asked, hey, so uh, why use activities in KDE and what's activities? Well, activities is very similar to a workspace. Of course, a workspace, virtual workspace that a lot of people know is where you can store uh, and run your application. So let's say, for example, you only want to have your web browser on Workspace 2 and you want to have your music player on Workspace 1. Um, really great option. A lot of people use it also on uh, tiling and non-tiling window managers and works, works really well. But what KDE does as well is they take it a step further with activities and it's almost like a completely and utterly different desktop on your different screen. So what I've done personally is set set mine up and I'm going to actually just show you what I what I do with mine. So firstly, uh, what I'm using is uh, Zero Linux here. I'm using uh, one of their Rices and it actually comes with this uh, panel here by default um, on the screen and it comes with the top one or bottom one. What I've done is uh, done a little bit of customization. So for example, uh, what I like to do is if you go into edit mode, and you can add widgets. I, for example, went and added the digital clock in the middle. Um, uh, weather, temperature, yes, similar to how GNOME does it. I know for GNOME, uh, some system processes are there. And of course, uh, important my activities uh, bar over here. So, first thing I did, and let me close this, was let me show you the configuration in settings. So, in system settings, under workspace behavior, you'll see what I've done is, I don't use virtual desktops as such, I rather use it as activities, and I've created individual ones here. So I have default, which is, you know, I just use it for everyday stuff, whether it's banking or default or whatever it is. Uh, then entertainment, gaming, music, productivity, recording, and of course, I've configured all of them. I can either switch them by pressing, you know, on the keys here. So let's say I was to go to music. Or if I go back to default, uh, or I've set a shortcut key, for example. So in my case, I've made hot keys, control, shift, and M for music. And it will take me back, control, shift, and D back to my default desktop. Um. Why do I do this? Well, especially, of course, if you're recording, you don't want everyone to necessarily see everything. And also, I just like to set my mind that if I'm focused on a task, I'm only going to be doing that task. So if I'm going to be gaming, I just only want to think about gaming. I don't want to think about my emails. I don't want to think about uh, work. I don't even want to think about recording. So, for example, what I've done on mine is I even change all of the background. So, for example, if I go to entertainment, I actually haven't added anything yet uh, or gaming. I'm still going to add those, but you can even see here just different wallpapers, no pa additional panels here, uh, music. So what, of course, I did as well is uh, arrange the most common music apps I have um, or use or have a trial of or whatever. And what I find really helps to organize things as well is if you check for widgets, I really like um, using a combination of the um, apps widget. So literally what it does, it's a, it's a launcher and it basically puts all of these applications here um, in here. So you can literally just add to the launcher or do whatever you need to do with a quick launch. So I think if I just scroll it down here, it should be here. I always struggle to get quick launch. You drag it, then just add whatever software you want to it. So if I drag this here and I'd close that, 
and I right click and say add launcher. So let's say I was to do development and let's say I was to add Kate, uh, you would see it here. And of course you could then configure if you wanted the name, if you wanted to be a pop-up, how many rows and just add multiple software. I really like this as opposed to just a normal icon or shortcut and make sure everything's in line, especially if you're OCD and it's all together. And if I'm ever listening to anything, I do like to just have my little media player, what's going on here, playing as well as a top bar. Productivity, uh, nothing yet. I had to recently reinstall everything, so hence some of the stuff is missing. Um, my recording screen, basically pretty light. Usually I'll have for OBS, OpenShot, Caden Live, as well as I'm also, for example, busy adding for when I run and create virtual machines so it's easier to just uh, go between the screens so really great functionality why use it instead of uh, virtual desktops well they're both pretty similar uh what i like here is you can configure that an application will only show on one of the screens um and i must be very honest with you i missed my activities immensely when i used gnome and you know i i i don't have anything necessary against GNOME or GNOME or whatever, but uh, specifically the way Cal KDE handle, handles activities with virtual desktops um, keeps me sticking with KDE. So yeah, uh, if you're not sure, really easy again how to create a virtual desktop. I don't think I've shown how to do that. So let's just go quickly again back into uh, system settings. Probably would help if I clicked on the right thing. Uh, am I going blind? I think I'm going blind. What is wrong with me? Uh, system. D system settings? Why can't I find system settings? Huh, weird. There we go. Uh, oh, yes. And of course, what I also did was I just added a different uh, full screen launcher here. So if I just hit the. Super key, aka window key, I can just uh, bring up this menu as well. Anyway, so create your virtual workspace behavior, virtual desktops, not the option we want, but this is where you would add them, activities, and of course you would just say create new, and you would just add the name and your shortcut for switching on the icon. Now, funny thing is, each activity can have multiple virtual desktops. So that can be pretty confusing. So you could say, for example, have a activity with music and on two virtual desktops and on the one virtual desktop, you've got Spotify and on the other one, you've got a Lyric application or, or something. Not the best example I know, but it is possible. Or it's a, you on productivity, you're doing your taxes on the one virtual desktop and on the other virtual desktop, you are uh, have a calculator open or heck or a spreadsheet or heck i don't know so there's endless opportunities and ways to do it i like to just uh, have everything in separate activities and just keep my virtual desktops as one so yeah that's gonna be all for me for this video and thanks for watching